Hello YouTube, this is Maker Mikey Z here, and I'm showing uh, you guys my printer upgrades. So pretty much what I printed is I printed a spool upgrade so it wasn't sitting on the side of the printer. I printed these separately, and then I printed these adapters so that they actually use the original spacers. They actually go in between the LCD and the front panel here. So you just take them out and you put this in there instead. Then I printed out these little, this spool holder thing here in order to hold the spool so it spins on the, this here. Printed out a spool holder here that it actually fell out of, but here to hold the spool, the filament in the spool. And then I also printed out this button here so that when you push down to put the filament in, it doesn't hurt your finger. I printed out a fan duct upgrade, which is a half circle, which actually does a really good upgrade. So this is going to be, this was my first print that I printed on here when I, before I calibrated the machine or did any type of upgrades to it. And you could see the texture on it, the layer is not actually that good. And then this would be the second one here that I did. It's a lot better, you can actually still see all the layers, but it's a lot better than this one was. You see them here. And as another upgrade, what I was doing was I was actually going to be using my Raspberry Pi here as a printer server. Um, there's a program out there called Octoprint, which obviously allows you to connect to a uh, Raspberry Pi that's connected to your printer and be able to control it. But sadly, the place that I'm living at at the current moment, the, I don't have access to the router, so I am not able to port forward it so I can actually access this from the internet. But you just connect a webcam to this and you're able to view everything online, do all your prints and everything from online. It's actually really, really cool. But also, while I was doing my other upgrades, I started, I was printing out stuff for uh, the spool holder originally. So these originally were supposed to be wider. They're supposed to be about here. So that's what this was. This was actually the original spool holder. Spool holder was supposed to go here in the middle. The spool goes around this. But instead, I actually printed it like this, so this is pretty much unneeded, so this is pretty much a wasted print. I also printed out the side things that you see here. I printed out different versions of those, but they did not actually work. They were actually too big, and if I resized this hole in the middle, it was, well, it was way too small. Oh, some more future upgrades that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to actually get a tube for the filament here that would actually allow it to be guided better through this into the extruder here. And then another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print a cover for the power supply here that has a computer power cable and a switch on it like some of the newer printers come with just so that it actually is a lot better than it currently is now. I probably will be printing a tightener for the two belts that are on this printer. So this belt here, I'm going to print a tightener probably for it. And I'm most likely going to be printing one for this bottom part here to be able to tighten this belt so that it's not so loose with it. And this is just another example of a couple of prints that I have printed using the printer. Uh, these are actually going to my girlfriend and her cousin. Uh, some little gifts for them. Um, I also printed out this filament holder that I actually ended up not using. I probably will use it here in the future, but not at the current moment. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything I've printed. I printed a nice project that will be in an upcoming video for my girlfriend that I uh, am now painting and priming. But that will be up soon in the new video. Alright guys, thank you. Th uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!